everyone. Um, today I'm just doing a review on the friction pens that I have started using um, for about the past, let's see, close to three months now. <clears throat> so when I went back to a paper planner, I was talking to you guys, I was thinking I was sitting in this spot, I'm um, talking about the Erin Condren planner, and um, just mentioned how I'd gone from paper planners to like using my iPad, just iCal, and then went back to paper, and I was really annoyed with how I kept having to use the whiteout because I do make mistakes. Um, and a lot of you were recommending these friction pens, and the friction is spelled F-R-I-X-I-O-N, um, by Pilot. And, you know, I was like, yeah, whatever. So I just kind of held off. But um, then I started my own planner, and I just thought, why not try them? So um, I had bought, I can insert a picture. I don't have the packaging anymore because I didn't really expect myself to be doing this video. But um, I bought a 24-pack of friction pens off of just Amazon. I just Googled friction pens. I didn't really know um, what style or if there were different ones to buy. I just knew a lot of um, the YouTube or the like Instagram Filofax community uses them. Um, so I just Googled that straight out. Um, so there are quite a variety, and I guess I just wanted a variety of colors just because I hadn't used any of them before. I didn't know how the colors would turn out. I find that I get... Even with this pack, I'm kind of disappointed with the reds that I get lately. They lean on the orange side, so then I can't really tell the difference between my oranges and reds, but um, I guess that's just nitpicking. So you get all these colors, and I'm sorry I don't have the proper packaging that they came in. I'm just trying to pick them out of my little pencil case here. Um, but the, the packaging of the pen matches the, the color that the pen should be. Um, I wouldn't say exactly, but pretty darn close. So I'll be inserting um, in some part of this video how they write, um, how they come out on paper, and um, things like that. So I got 24 colors, the range from just like bright rainbows to the grays, blacks, browns. Um, so that's nice. There really hasn't, hasn't been a use for my yellows yet. I can't read them. I just leave those at home. Um, so 24 pens. I ordered the Pilot Friction Erasable Color Gel Ink Pens. They're 0.7 millimeters and it's a 24 pack. I have heard other people talk about um, 0.5 millimeters. I didn't see that. I think I would pre prefer a smaller um, point, but I was just trying these out. And um, I think that there are different uh, versions of the pen as well. Someone correct me if I'm wrong, but um, these are like a gel pen. There might be like a, a marker almost. I could be lying, but I think there were some variations. Um, so <laughs> I was trying to make this list for you that compiled the colors and everything and um, these were actually shipped from Japan so I can't read any of the writing on them. Um, it was um, $32.41 was the price on Amazon and I'll link that below for the 24 pack and about $10 shipping. I don't know how long it took to get to me but um, I think the reviews must have been good if I bought from that um, seller. So, um, yeah, I couldn't read any of the colors. I ended up figuring them out, and I can show you that later on, but just so you know. Um, so the pen anatomy, I'll just show you here. Um, typical pen, so we've got the shaft of the pen, clear case, clear cover, um, pulls out like so. Um, they do write like gel pens, so I have a few things to say about that. Um, but let me finish with the anatomy. So they've got this ridge, I'm not sure why or what that does, and then this top is sort of um, like a rubber on the top, which does the erasing. Um, the pens don't have the best feel to them, they're very light, um, but this whole thing is plastic. There is some ribbing or ridges here um, for some grip, but um, that's that. So as far as writing, they do write they, they impressed me when I started writing with them. Um, I was very skeptical of this type of pen that could erase and have all these beautiful colors and things like that. But they do write like a gel pen. Um, so not the most opaque, I would say, but still, I don't know. I I'm, I'm, think I'm just being picky. Um, they do write well, but they're not as beautiful to write with as... Um, some like a ballpoint, they don't flow as easily, that they can kind of get stuck and um, I might have to go over areas um, just because the ink didn't come out as opaque as and thick as I wanted. 
So the pros to that are there's no bleeding with these pens since they're more gel rather than like a marker or a Sharpie pen. There could be some ghosting with the darker colors, but really I'm not even seeing that right now. Um, so that's great. And um, they're mostly erasable, which I'll show you the demo of that. I do write very hard with my pen, so um, even after erasing, I can still see the indentation of where the strokes have poked poked the paper, but um, if you're a light writer, that's probably no problem. Um, then the cons, I would say that um, I've heard that they erase by heat. I haven't experienced that myself, but that is the mechanism of how they are erasable. So yes, there's this rubber tip on the end and you rub against the ink and that's erasable, but it's that it's that friction, that heat that's creating that. So I've heard of people leaving them in their cars. Um, I've heard that like firsthand from someone I actually know and then read about that elsewhere. So just beware of that. If you're writing like your life story, you probably don't want that to melt or um, get um, erased somehow. So, and then I, I think the con, even though this pen kind of does it all, the gel consistency, it's just not the best pen I've ever used, but I live with it because I like being able to erase. Um, so that's that section. My most used colors, I have about eight that I use all the time. I had never tried all of them until this point where I was just making this for this video, so I might whip out some others, but I color code my planners so I have a few basic colors that I just always use, and those are, um, I guess I can just go over them. I use the pink for YouTube. I use orange and purple interchangeably for birthdays or just things that I want to stick out. I, of course, use the black, which I can't find all of a sudden, the black um, for, like, appointments. And then I use black with highlighter over it for, um school things just because I don't I prefer to have them stand out but writing in yellow ink is very difficult to read the light blue for one job dark blue for the other green for any builds paydays and then red for my um, school organizations so those are my most used colors and I think they show up great um, so for now I will just let you let you see this um, code or key that I've written out a little closer so you can see what the colors look like on paper and um, how they've written and then I'll show you how they erase as well. Alright everyone, so I'm just giving you an up close look here. I'm back in my planner and I'm sorry if I'm kind of shaky. I'm just going to be going through the pen colors with you and then just showing you how they erase. So just going through the colors, we've got black here, um, that's F24 as they call it in case you order any of these individually. You go down to the gray, which is a light gray pen as well, F23. We go to dark brown, which is F22. And then we've got to regular brown, F21, number 21. We got regular purple, which is one of my most frequently used ones as well. I signify that with those dots there. That's F12. And um, they say the numbering on this Japanese um, label that I cannot read nor focus. I apologize. Um, but then we've got the violet here of F11. Um, this purplish red looks like more pinky, magenta in the, as the packaging, but is um, pretty dark. F10. We've got friction red. And like I was saying, it's F5 it's coming across a little orange um, in real life um, so I have trouble differentiating those a little bit and so I am annoyed by that but that's just me <laughs> then we've got showy pink which is F9 we've got friction pink which is 8 friction series I don't know but it's very pretty um, just a light soft pink Red coral, yes, I'd say this is true to coral, that's for sure. Um, that's F6. Sorry about that. We go to F4, which is just orange. I'm going to use that. 
you've got mandarin, which I hope that's coming across, which is, yeah, a light orange. Mandarin, tangerine, whatever orange fruit you'd like. We've got bright yellow, which is pretty darn similar to just the normal yellow. They're um, apparently shades darker, but this is O2 for the bright yellow. Um, and then we got F1 for the regular yellow, which is right here. Packaging is also pretty similar. Then we've got this ochre, which is like a mustard. That's F20. F17 is yellow green. That's pretty. I like that one. Um, we've got um, just regular green, which is deeper than I expected it to be. Um, a little more blue toned, tealish. Even though the packaging is um, standard green. We have dark green, which is more of like an olive green. Um, as F19. Friction light blue, one of my favorites. I probably use this one the most, so I'm kind of scared that um, I'll run out of one color and then have this whole pack. But I guess that's the point. I could just switch colors. Um, Azure is F15. Just a nice different shade of blue. F14 for the um, deeper blue. And then they have Ultramarine, which is really a navy. And that's F13. Now, um, when you go to erase, uh, you can just use these pen tips here. So I'll do one of the darker colors. I am pressing pretty hard. Um, this is, I'm just swiping this. This isn't really doing it. You've really got to get the friction, as they would say. Even like when you're using hand sanitizer, you got to get the friction. That's what kills the germs. That's what erases. Um, so there really isn't a trace. I know um, that you can kind of see that through the um, camera. And I think half of it is the indentation because I write very hard, like I mentioned. Um, and that is just kind of like a yellow um, residue, I guess. But they erase pretty well as far as writing over that. I have no problems with that. Um, so I'll just do a few here so you can see how it turns out. All right, so I guess you can see some residue of what I've written. Um, once again, a reminder, I do write pretty hard. I don't think it's as blatant um, in person, but the ones that are sticking out um, are really are the darker colors, like these darker reds I can sort of see still. Um, so that's that. Um, shoot, I forgot to leave one for you to see. So I'll just write quickly. Um, so that being said, the friction, like I mentioned, is what causes this erase erasing. So I just have a regular big pencil, and that will also do the erasing as well. So that's um, just sort of a softer rubber, I guess, if you are paranoid about this um, harder text, this harder rubber, um, maybe kind of warping your pages. So it's really just the friction. I don't believe. I guess this is a demo. So my hand friction really isn't doing the trick, um, but you can erase with the pencils as well, just a regular pencil. All right, that should be everything. Thanks for watching this video. If you have questions and or concerns that I didn't address, I tried to be comprehensive, but if there's something that you'd like to know about these pens, please let me know in the comments below. I'd be happy to start a discussion about pens you like because um, as you know, us stationary people, we love that kind of stuff. So thanks for suggesting them to me. I do love them overall. Um, and so thank you for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.